All right, barrel garden update. Um, some ants seem to have moved into the garden planter. As you can sort of see here. Um, I installed these things today. And uh, just noticed that they are kind of crawling around. But I'm not too worried. I kind of like insects. Hopefully they don't cause any issues. As you can see, there's uh, slaters growing in here as well. Or a wood louse. There's a lot of names for these guys. But they're quite interesting. Um, anyway, backing up to the plants, which is the main thing. There's some seedlings uh, popping up. This is lettuce and various things. But the Gerber daisies, the transplants, are all looking pretty happy, I would say. This one's an orange one. It's coming up. It's got one, two, three, at least three more blossoms coming. It's got these pink blossoms here. You know, five big ones and probably a whole bunch more coming. Got the yellow one here. All looking pretty happy. And uh, as I may have mentioned in other videos, the uh, these older looking leaves, they are uh, from the overwinter. And so the newer looking leaves are the ones that uh, are from this year. And so as the season goes on, I suspect they will get uh, more robust. Looks like something is devouring these leaves. Not sure exactly what is eating that, but uh, like I said, I don't generally try to fight pests, so hopefully that just recovers on its own. See this nice color, Gerber Daisy. We got this like light pink one. And the white one. See these ones are a little bit smaller. These ones just starting to put their blossom up, so I'm not sure what color that one is. But uh, fully watered it once, actually topped it up a little bit, but uh, yeah, it seems to hold water nicely. All the plants seem to be happy. So, well, fingers crossed here. This is a zinnia garden barrel, where all the zinnia seeds are starting to pop up. So the germination rate seems to be good. We just gotta sprinkle them in and, you know, the water the water table in the barrel is so high that it uh, generally stays pretty moist and uh, like I said the germination rates good this is supposed to be cilantro uh, and it is or coriander that's what all of these ones are with the round seed uh, but the arugula is a very powerful germinator and so is the kale it also does pretty well and so they've uh, germinated first and taken up some of the space here but if we don't want them, we can always pull them back out. This is the cannabis uh, barrel. I put about 20 seeds in it. Uh, this is the first time I've been saving the seeds, so it's nice to nice to see it coming up. It's not a huge germination rate, but we got 10 coming up. And so uh, we'll sort of redistribute those around the yard until they determine if they're male or female. I've transplanted some of the lettuce uh, little clusters like here for instance so they're all really close together these ones are actually poppy and so some of this could be again subdivided but I've divided the lettuce and then I put it into this wicked barrel here and it was a really rough transplant but now we have the whole barrel full of green leaf lettuce seedlings that are all looking pretty happy intermixed with a little bit of arugula a little bit of dill and uh, I think all this is lamb's quarters. This is dill, I think. Anyway, it's all happy, looking good. The garden barrels are also looking pretty good. Here's some uh, some of the lettuce. This is what it'll look like a little further along in the in the other barrel. They probably got a little bit stunted from the transplant shock. Uh, we got this one here. It's called wood sorrel or exalus. Sour grass, I got a lot of names for it. False shamrock. It's all nice and good. Really lemony and tangy. This is a, a kale left over from last year. But it's a much greener color than the other kales I've got. <clears throat> if I bring you over here, they can see my uh, ever bearing strawberry plants are starting to produce. So this will start turning red as the days warm up. And then every one of these blossoms is going to hopefully turn into another 
great big strawberry. So they're coming right along. And I love that they hang off the barrels midair. It's one of the best plants for the barrels because they uh, stay off away from the moisture and the bugs and hang midair. And they get a lot of plants in a small space. Uh, I got little chives on top here. They've all started to go to flower. Got parsley growing up everywhere. Here's another green leaf or lettuce. This is what it'll turn into. That's what all these guys can get as they get bigger. And I've chopped back all this parsley. It's all from last year. See in here, there's a, what they call a spittle bug. They make a cocoon out of bubbles. Well, that might be it there. I'm not even sure what the adult looks like. But uh, anyway, the idea is that they bubble up crazy bubbles and then they put their larva in it and then it protects them. The bubbles don't pop. It looks like spit, it looks like a dissolve, but they pump, they, uh, they stay around for a while and make a protective coating. And so here's another uh, example of the spittle bugs. Spittle. But it's not, uh, not harmful to humans and it's no big deal. Like I said, most, most bugs aren't uh, harmful to the plants or humans. They're just all trying to do their thing. So this is uh, all last year's parsley and kale. I've chopped that back a lot. Uh, I might uproot some, we'll see. It's all trying to put on its seeds now. And uh, I guess that's it for the barrels. Barrels are looking pretty good. And the wicking barrels are all looking pretty good. So that's your little update, a little longer than expected. And uh, these are the new rain tanks that are getting installed here. And around the corner is uh, the new totes that are automatically filling that I just made a video of a moment ago. So if you like that sort of thing, go check that video out. Thanks a lot, guys. And uh, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much.